Black Lives Matters. I intend to fight. If Black Lives Matter to her, why didn't I matter? Because of truancy, California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't agree what my Kamala Harris did to my mom. So I decided I was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. And I spent a majority of my time here at the hospital. Ugh. When Kamala Harris was the California Attorney General, she had me arrested and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and had missed some days of school. I have sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a hereditary disease and it is very, very painful. <laughs> In 2012, like all California parents, I received a threatening letter from Kamala Harris saying, we'll go to jail for a year if our kids even miss 10% of school days. Little did I know, there was a warrant out for my arrest. All of a sudden, the police is outside my house and they started banging on the door. They told me I was under arrest for my child missing school. I was shocked. I said, but my baby is sick. The school knows that. And they said, go talk to Kamala Harris. Place your hands behind your back. My mom did nothing wrong. We did everything we were supposed to. I was always bringing doctor's notes, always calling the school to let them know that I was in the hospital. But my hell was just beginning. They gave me two charges. I spent the next two years in court fighting these charges. Kamala assigned her nastiest prosecutors to my case. My homicide prosecutors, my gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. <laughs> All the time I had to spend going to court, I was struggling to care for my shame. We are going to make sure that you face the full force and consequences of the law. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent, and we got evicted. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel. And I ended up being in the hospital a lot during her trial. And in that hospital stay was when I had my stroke. I had a stroke about four or five days ago. And right now I'm doing pretty good in my hand. It's doing okay, I guess. Let's be clear, my values have not changed. Look, I am not a political person, but I want people to know what Kamala Harris has did to me. If she do it to me, she will abuse anyone if you give her the power. The truancy program I got a lot of criticism too. Did you actually yeah. lock anybody up? No, we never locked anybody up. We did prosecute some cases, uh, but far few, only about 20. My message to all Americans, especially black Americans, do not trust Kamala Harris.